Ms. Wujdan, is your mic working? I'm sorry you missed that last question, um, but we will get that to Ms. Nora and have that answered. Yeah, can you hear me, Ms. Dima? Yes, your mic is very clear. Okay. Last but not least, I'd like to present Ms. Wajdana Razouk. Um, and thank you for everyone for staying with us for this last presentation. Her topic will be oral health knowledge and daily personal oral health habits among females in juvenile detention center in Riyadh. Ms. Wajdan Razouk is a um, dental hygiene bachelor's holder from King Saud University. Her clinical experience uh, in uh, dental hygiene is working at King Saud University currently and previously at Dr. Suleiman and Habib Hospital. She also was an intern at National Guard Hospital Riyadh and has participated in a range of dental hygiene community service activities in the past. So without further ado, um, Ms. Wajdan, the mic is for you and you can share your screen. Yes, is it clear? Very clear. Okay. So thank you, uh, Ms. Noura. Uh, it was a really informative and, and, and outstanding presentation. Uh, it's really such an honor and a pleasure to be part of this conference. Um, so our research is about oral health knowledge and daily or personal oral habit among female in juvenile detention center. So first, let's take a quick brief what the uh, juvenile detention uh, means. Uh, it's a part of the juvenile justice continuum. It's a process that uh, includes the temporary and safe custody of juveniles who, alle who allege to conduct uh, a subject to court jurisdiction who require a restricted uh, environment for their own and the community's protection while bending legal action. Um, So the, the purpose of the study is um, uh, just it's loading, just. Is it showing to you the slide? And the objectives, are you trying to go to the next slide? Ms. Wajdan? Ms. Dima? Yes, we can hear you. And your slide is clear. Ms. Dima? Ms. Wajdan, can you hear us? You hear me, Ms. Nima? Just bear with us, everyone. We are having a few technical issues. Um, Sima, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Ms. Wajdan, please continue. Ms. Dima. Ms. Wajdan, please continue. Do you hear us? Oh, okay. 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 The purpose of the study is to assist our health knowledge and the 
راح تتعبون في جهاد نشر سنتر الرياض. So please if you guys uh, if you try that if you can you can hear me. Video, Miss Wujdan. I'm Steve. Miss Wujdan, we can hear you. I don't think she hears us. Um, um, I'll try to figure this out. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. So, um, hopefully, inshallah, uh, uh, I think it's now it's worse. We can hear you. So, uh, hopefully, hear me. Okay. we expand and cover all the centers in Saudi Arabia. So our objective, uh, our main objective, is to assist all health knowledge among. And evaluate the daily or have uh, or health habits, and evaluate or uh, Could everybody please bear with us? Um, we are trying to fix the current technical issue we are facing. Thank you for your patience, everyone. So while we're waiting, please go ahead and evaluate our previous uh, presenter, Ms. Noura Atubeshi, and we'll fix this technical issue in a few minutes. Thank you for your patience.
with us. Just bear with us until she sets up her slides again. Ms. Wijdan, please unmute your mic. Perfect. She's back with us and the slides are loading. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yes. Can you Can hear you? me? Yes. Okay, good. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Don't worry. Uh, so after reviewing, many, after reviewing many studies reported and conducted in different countries, they found there is co a correlation between uh, uh, mental issues and um, oral health. So uh, mainly uh, anxiety and depression. Uh, other studies, um, uh, after investigation, they found most of the detainees were from low socioeconomic status. Uh, so their families were unable to, to provide a basic or hygiene tools and a regular dental uh, visit. Uh, and there are many factors besides lack of knowledge that may uh, increase uh, the high rates of risk behavior of youth detainees. Um, it takes time from moving from one slide to another slide. Um, um. Like me to share the slides? Um, I would like to draw your attention that uh, providing care uh, of giant offenders was of the main priorities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The first institution was established in 1945 um, uh, in Riyadh, so they ended up in 2018 uh, with five uh, centers uh, in Riyadh, Abha, Mecca, Medina, uh, Ahsa. Um, actually, we don't have specific number how many detainees there because of limitation and difficulties in, in terms of communication with the uh, with the principal or someone in charge, uh, and also due to privacy and confidential matters. Um, um, so all the number is concise for Riyadh only. So we move to the next part about the methodology, a cross section. A cross-section study was performed among females in juvenile uh, uh, detention uh, Riyadh. Uh, the sample age range from uh, 10 to 29. Um, the data collection consists of two parts. Uh, a survey questionnaire uh, was distributed among uh, on who volunteers to take part of the study, and specific uh, details charged from the staff of um, the faculties uh, working there. So the survey questionnaire contained questions regarding their oral health knowledge and daily practice. Uh, started with the concept form, demographic, and personal data. The entire question uh, contained 23 um, questions. Um, after dispensing the questionnaire, we critically ana analyzed the, the data and came out with, the, with this result. Here, a structured questionnaire was distributed among 46 female, uh, only 32 uh, uh, female who uh, accepted to partake uh, in this study, and the remaining 14 were unable or unwilling to participate due to certain behaviors uh, that affect their compliance to complete the questionnaire. Uh, and also an interview uh, conducted to the, with the principal uh, responsible for the centers. Questions were asked about their process of dental clinic inside the facility and a type of program uh, have provided, and also the dietary supplies. Um, the question here was uh, uh, divided to three parts about the demographic questions. Um, uh, their knowledge and their uh, actual practice. Um, 
And virtually many questions has asked you either about their nationality or age or marital uh, status. So, uh, but we uh, we want to shade some of uh, the shade lights on some of the questions. Um, so, as you can see here, uh, they, their age were um, their adolescents, the majority of them. Um, so their education level, uh, the majority of them enrolled in diverse schools, primary and secondary and uh, academic, uh, and the other getting uh, vocational courses at their place. Which means that they have been stated in the centers uh, for many years, uh, and some of them uh, uh, they've been there since born. Uh, about the medical conditions, um, Alhamdulillah, only a small percentage, uh, they suffered from heart disease and diabetes and they undergo medical follow-up. So uh, the next part was about their knowledge. Uh, most data collected uh, from this part in particular was frequently and over expected. They notably uh, responded with the right answer. For instance, the, the importance of dental visit, the, mostly uh, they responded with yes. Uh, the participant knowledge about their the, the role of dental hygiene is just one clarify that uh, all detainees uh, have met dental needs. Uh, they have already visited hygienists, uh, so hence they know their, the role of dental hygienists. So the participant knowledge about the supposed frequency of tooth brushing, based on the part chart, uh, um, the printed was good, um, as it with the three times daily. The presence of relationship between oral health and general health, um, as I said a while ago, many answers were uh, um, contented, so I answered with yes. Um, also, the, uh, the knowledge of uh, symptoms of gingivitis, so a high person lies the symptom of gingivitis, so um, the, the, the answer was uh, satisfied. The last part was about their uh, actual practice. Uh, the participants visit the dental hygienist. Um, as I mentioned earlier, they have a recall uh, visits with the hygienist. Uh, the daily frequency that participants brush their teeth, um, uh, a significant person uh, brush maximum once daily, which is not enough. So consequently, um, High percent, uh, they suffered from uh, dental caries and toothache. We can see from the second slide. So here is a significant person suffered from dental caries and toothache, uh, bad breath, gingivitis. Um, the type of uh, the types of light means consumed by the participant. Uh, the staff explained that female offenders have unhealthy snacks consumed on daily basis, not even on occasion. Um, so the, these numbers uh, illustrate high percent of uh, cardiogenic and soft drinks intake. Um, the periodic type that participants with dental or dental hygiene. So, unfortunately, only part of them have a regular um, uh, schedule. 
person and the other um, just an emergency or a regular. So the results from the data gathered during the research correspond to the, a few of the global study and some of the results differed from the uh, remaining studies. So their knowledge have been reached by the successive lectures provided by a few hygienists. Uh, they told us that there is a uh, hygienist from uh, uh, PSMMC hospital. Um, on the other hand, or in the country, uh, a study conducted in Toronto, they found a majority of the detainees lacked basic uh, knowledge about their uh, oral and the nutritional health as well. So that during a interview with the staff working in the center, they explained that they have scheduled a regular dental visit, especially if they need any additional care, uh, such as orthodontic treatment, restorative and emergency care, uh, which this support study in, in DC that also uh, conducted regular dental visits uh, for the offenders. In conclusion, now, um, it was a the oral uh, knowledge and daily hygiene practice of female. Um, um, as a result, we have come to discover that their knowledge about oral health and uh, the importance of oral hy uh, hygiene to general uh, nutrition and oral health was surprisingly positive with the overall uh, participant with the ideal answers. Uh, however, their actual hygiene, uh, including uh, um, uh, frequency brushing, uh, using dental floss, tongue cleaning, um, uh, and the ideal uh, type of toothbrush uh, was poor and, and satisfied. So, um, and last but not least, upon obse uh, observing uh, the situation, uh, we reached to final suggestion and have, and have concluded these several recommendations. Actually, they are were, they were many, but we summed up two core points. Uh, first, increase the frequency of our health programs uh, that include information not uh, not related. I know that they have a, a, a already program, but repetition is beneficial. So. Um, Moving to the next point, uh, the faculty should limit uh, unhealthy food and replace it by unhealthy snacks. Um, so replace it by healthy snacks like nuts, popcorn, and etc. And including the clinic in the center to provide easy access to the juvenile uh, detainees and provide education and the preventive service that will ultimately decrease the number of oral disease prevalence among the offenders and increase their motivation. Um, the facility should provide a, a basic oral hygiene tools with the ideal qualities to juvenile uh, detainees. So last point bring, uh, brings us to the end of the presentation. I would like to thank you all uh, for your interest and I feel happy and uh, free to answer your question. So actually, we do have a question here. Please keep your questions coming because we have time for questions. One of the questions is, is a survey a good tool for measuring oral hygiene practices? So any question? Is a survey a good way for measuring oral hygiene? That's the question. Ms. Wijdan? Ms. Wijdan, do you hear me? Ms. Do you have any question? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. 
Yes, I hear you. Any question? Yes. Is a survey a good way for measuring oral hygiene? Yes, he, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I think it, yeah, it works. And there is many studies uh, um, um, uh, from uh, Riyadh College. They collected this uh, survey as well. Ms. Wujdan, can you please expand? We know the survey tool was used before in the past, but for you as a hygienist, um, do you um, think a survey is a good way? I actually can't see actually you can't see the uh, the dini so uh, only we, uh, as we, much as we can do is uh, to uh, dis dispense or um, distribute the questionnaire uh, by the uh, by the principal mm -hmm. for the detainees um, so we are we're unable to see the uh, offenders there okay and another question by miss zanab what so we would like to take the Another question by Ms. Zainab is what assessment tool was used to assess dental caries? Uh, we, as I told you before, uh, we can't see the offenders only uh, to distribute the questionnaires. So we uh, make the uh, the question if they if they have uh, dental caries, uh, they responded with uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for Ms. Wujdan? If you could, there's a question here. If you could uh, do an assessment. I can't see the questions. I don't know why. Huh. Can you hear me? Um, we're sorry. I think Ms. Wujdan is um, facing a few technical issues. I'm not sure if she hears me well. If you can, what? Uh, okay. If you could do an exam, uh, if you I'm could do an here. exam, would you have used an index, to, uh, any index to measure oral hygiene? That's one of the questions. Yes, of course, I would like to do that. Uh, they, they, they were able to, to give us this opportunity to examine the offenders. Okay. Thank you for your help. So uh, regarding all three questions that we got from Ms. Wujdan, I think um, she was not allowed to do a clinical exam. That's why they depended on a survey in case um, we're having technical issues and you cannot hear. That's why I repeated her answer. Any other questions for Ms. Wajdan? Uh, uh, to answer uh, Mr. Ayoub's question, uh, um, um, uh, we we just uh, we what we take uh, uh, about the medical uh, uh, records. So from the, from that point, we uh, uh, we measure our study and how we assess the the detainees. Any other questions? While we're waiting for questions? Okay, so you have an answer here that this should be mentioned in the limitations. Thank you for your comment. We'll wait, we will be waiting for um, questions for a few, maybe two minutes. 
uh, uh, I would like um, to remind for Mr. Ayub, for Mr. Ayub, uh, uh, I do have in my research. Uh, uh, I wrote already the limitation, but uh, do you do, do you time constraints? That's why uh, uh, I skip it. Thank you, Ms. Wajdan, for the clarification. While we're waiting for any additional question, I would like to remind you that the presenter evaluation can be found at the top of the page. Your feedback is valued. Can you please stop sharing your screen, Ms. Wujdan? Okay. Any additional questions? So on behalf of the Saudi Dental Hygiene Society, I would like to present the certificate of appreciation to you for your valuable contribution, Ms. Vujdan. Thanks so much.